Hello and welcome to this Dr. Excel recording in which I want to take the idea of data validation to the next level and look at an amazingly powerful feature of Excel which is the IF function. And I'm recording this in a completely different way today. I'm going to record this with two cameras. Uh, you've got this camera is going to be looking at me. I've got this camera back here which is going to look at the spreadsheet. So we're going to see how that works. It's all new tech so bear with me. So what I want to do here bring up this spreadsheet which is actually something that's very similar to what I've been working on today. So those of us who aren't in the European Union, VAT or value added tax is a lot like sales tax in the UK, it's added to items. Now because I run a business, some things I can deduct uh, VAT away from. So what I've created here are a set of cells which actually data validated. If I look over here at data validation. See, I've said that these cells can say yes or no, but nothing else in them. So I've kind of faked up the spreadsheet that's going to do my VAT calculation for me. Here are a bunch of things which may or may not be deductible. Here are a bunch of things that say yes or no. I can't get anything else right in there. So what I want to do here is only put that value over here if that is yes. And the word if says it all, because what I can do, I can do say equals. Now that makes it a formula, okay? So this equal this equal statement here, at the, or this equals symbol at the beginning of the cell is going to make everything in there a formula, not just a raw value. And I can put if e equals, sorry, equals if. So now I'm going to make a choice. If is a choice. What am I going to use as a question? I've got to ask a question. If this, then this, otherwise that. So I'm going to say if a2, little equals sign. No, I don't want a2. I do apologize. If b2 equals yes. So what I'm going to say now is if this cell here has the word yes in it, then I want the value of that cell. Okay, otherwise I don't want any, I want zero. So I'm saying if that cell contains yes in it, then I want that cell. Otherwise I want zero. So it's if question, then if true, if false. Yay! Now, the nice thing about these, re what we call references here, B2, A2, is that when we fill a whole set of data, they automatically update. So we'll go on that little plus in the corner there, drag that down. Now magically, we can see this row here, I do deduct it, value turns up there. That row, I don't deduct it, no value there. So I can actually work out how much uh, tax I can deduct. And let's say total. Oh, yep, total. Done. Don't need any complex software, it's all worked out for me, and I can't actually put anything but yes or no in here. Interestingly enough, I come along a bit later, watch this, say so actually no, I can deduct that, and it's updated it all for me. And I'll say actually I can update, update that, watch this. See? Then we'll turn it back. So it all automatically recomputes itself. Now, in all honesty, if you don't think that's cool, then I don't know what planet you're from, because that allows me to do things in Excel, which otherwise I'd have to actually write a complex bit of software to do and debug it, what have you, and Excel does it just there in the cell. So the next thing I'm going to look at is to take some of these ideas the next stage further again. Thank you very much.